Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to What's Up My Mind. So, today we'll be talking about Battlefield 1 and I guess my impressions. This will be also a review because, you know, the campaign's short and the multiplayer will still be multiplayer. So, yeah. Sorry about this game, it's Sunday. Not day one because I didn't want to. I was being cautious with this. I didn't want to buy day one and then found out, oh, servers issues. Beautiful. I didn't want to buy this the day one, just what happened to Battlefield 4. You know, Battlefield 4 was awful, man. When you bought it day one, yeah, that was just awful. Stuttering server issues all that shit and the the bullets didn't re the kills didn't receive so when you kill this when you kill the person it took maybe like a s two seconds until it was processed and said oh yeah you killed them or you didn't kill them or you actually didn't shoot him you were actually shooting a friend you got a friendly kill so fuck you it, they it was just that shit so yeah when the f online was fucking up there was also the campaign you know when you're playing the campaign okay i was trying to beat the campaign so one sitting, I played the beginning to the jet part, and then I was like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna leave. So leave, came back, I had to start all over again. For some reason, it didn't save, so that was bullshit. So the game was just broken. I think it was Battlefield. So that's why I didn't bought Battlefield 1 day one, because I was trying to be cautious and not, you know, do the same mistake what I did in Battlefield 4. And I didn't have money at the time. I think that was the bigger reason. So, Battlefield 4. An amazing, I, okay, let's just say it, it's an amazing game. I haven't felt this addicted in a long time. So, a little story about me. I haven't, I haven't felt this way in the game since, I, since um, uh, Uncharted 4, and that hasn't lasted too long. The, you know, the campaign was great after I beat the campaign. I wanted to try to beat the game again, but I just didn't want to watch the cutscenes and all that. And you know the first part of the of um uh, what's it called Uncharted campaign it was it was just a bunch of cutscenes so I was like okay cutscene 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 okay that fuck this so yeah the Uncharted campaign wasn't much and then multiplayer was good and then you know a bunch the community in P in the Uncharted four online it's just a bunch of assholes let's just say that it's just I didn't like the community there I can go as far as to say the Uncharted community is as bad as the Call of Duty community. So before I was playing Uncharted 4, I was playing Battlefield 4 and that was an amazing game. And then after I was done with Uncharted 4, I was keep playing Battlefield 4 and that just got boring and boring. Now Battlefield 4 is still fun, but it's just I just got bored with that. There hasn't been an amazing online game forever. And then Battlefield 1 came and just rescued me, man. I was really bored, man. You know, right now having a, you know, not really good job I didn't like. And just not spending too much money on all these games. Like, I'm very, tr I'm trying to be cautious of buying games because I just don't want to invest all my time. And then after that, I found out, wow, this was a shitty game. Wow, I, I wish I didn't spend my money and time on this. So, promise, I promise you guys, Battlefield 1 is an amazing game. If you like shooters... And a challenging shooter. If you if you if you play Call of Duty and just like oh I, I you know I suck at everything. I just want a game that I feel good you know and I feel like a a beast on. Well, if all you play is Call of Duty, yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked. So don't buy buy this game. You actually you will feel bad because you found out. Well, I'm a shitty player. I'm just gonna go kill myself. So multiplayer is good, but what about the campaign though? Now I only finished two stories. Uh, I f I finished the pilot. And I finished the Australian guy. Now, the Australian guy, I, I really didn't focus because I was just, you know, playing it. Um, I didn't put the volume up because it was at night and I didn't want to wake up everybody else. Now, I did listen to the pilot story and that was actually pretty good. Game Gameplay-wise, too, is also pretty good and with the pilot. I thought I, I was really going to hate it and I was like, okay, it's just a mission I have to go through to beat it. No, it was actually very entertaining and the story was actually very good also, so... Yeah, loved it. Reminder, I haven't finished the game. Remember that, all right? Uh, this is kind of going to be my impression and also review because it's not going to change. And so far, I'm loving the campaign. And it's very short. I, you could probably beat this game in maybe like, uh, I'm not sure. I beat I beat those two maybe like the for like, I don't know, uh, an hour and 30 minutes. That, that took me. So, yeah, you could probably beat all this in maybe like four hours or, s or three, you know. And to me, that was actually disappointing because you know, the, the just by those two, that w it was very entertaining. And usually, you know, battlefield campaigns aren't good, but this one is actually good. So yeah, this game is just amazing, you know. As a gamer, you know, who now has a has a job and you know doesn't have enough time to 
do anything fun. This game really gave me hope as a gamer and, you know, saved my gaming life because I was like, where where are the fun games? Where where are these amazing games going to come? This is one of the amazing games. So I'm going to give this game a 9.5 out of 10. So, yeah, that's how I feel. If you don't agree, then comment below. Tell me you suck in your opinion because your opinion sucks or some shit. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. You can see me Twitch and Twitch and tweet and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Say you later. Bye.